director Sirji Chandrasekhar Yadav sir, deans, HODs, uh, faculty member, invited guest. A very uh, good afternoon to all of you. And I wish you all a very happy Engineers Day. So it is very delighted moment because the day is belongs to us because we all are engineers and some of our capable of producing the engineers. So this is the galaxy of intellectuals who are all sitting today and this is the moment to celebrate the engineers day with all the engineers which are all available inside the campus. <clears throat> so today all the day I used to tell a small story at end. So I thought no today I will start a story then I will talk for a few times. Anyhow there is no other speakers also only sir will be talking. So comfortably we can talk. So one day what happened, in Britain, one 35 to 40 years young boy, he was traveling in a train. So he was an Indian, he was traveling in the train and as you know, those days, whenever any Indians are seen traveling in high class coaches, all the time the foreigners and the Britishers, whenever they see, they get an opportunity, they tease the Indians, they insult it to the maximum. So same way it was happening, this gentleman was sitting quietly and he was traveling in the train and the group of people who are all you know, foreigners, they started teasing him. So when the group of people they started teasing, slowly more number of people they joined with this group and they started teasing in mass. But that gentleman was keeping quiet and he was silent and he was just you know, calm. So the train was moving, the train was moving, moving, going on, going on and these fellows are busy in I know, disturbing him, teasing him, scolding him, ill-treating him, all these things were happening and he is calm and quiet. Then what happened, suddenly this gentleman, he stood up and he started shouting and what he was shouting, stop the train, stop the train, stop the train, all were shocked. All the time we were doing this our activity for past 45 minutes. There was no reaction from him. All of a sudden, why he started shouting? Then nobody bothered. Nobody bothered by thinking that, okay, as we all are teasing him, now he wanted to get down from the train. So that is the reason. Just to escape from us, he wanted to stop the train. So nobody gave attention to his shouting. Then all of a sudden, what he did, he stood up and he pulled the chain. And once the chain was chain will be pulled, what will happen? Train will stop. So train is stopped completely. Then the moment the train was stopped, then police people came, PT came and other passengers all came and they started searching for the fellow who did this. Then he himself admitted, I did it. Okay. Then everybody asked, do you know? Okay. Pulling the chain and stopping the train is a punishable offense and you will be taken into custody. Then that gentleman told, yes, I know that one. Then why did you do that? Are you mad? Then he told, go straight. Anyhow, train is stopped. Walk in the track. Go for half a kilometer. And you will see that the track is totally derailed. The track is damaged. You can go and check that one. If I would have not stopped the train now, it would have met with an accident. It would, it would have been derailed and we all would have been died. That is the reason I did it. Nobody was ready to believe. Then this gentleman told that there is no not necessity to justify here whether what I told it is correct or not. Half kilometer only. I am not running away anywhere. Anyhow, your police people are here. Just go and check and come back. Then the 50 people, they decided to go and check. Anyhow, it is a distance of half kilometer only. They went, they checked. Part of the line, train line was there. It is totally derailed and it is not available. It's not there. All were solved. How it is possible? Then everybody who are all joined for teasing, scolding and all, now their face is totally changed. And they started running and they wanted to meet with this gentleman now. And they came and they asked, Who are you? Where are you? How you came to know this? He said, I am Vishesuraya. I am from India. <laughs> uh, 
How did you know this? He told. When you all were teasing me, I did not give any attention to your words. I was concentrating on sound of resonance. We have studied, right, in school and in physics. You are teaching to your students also. Sound of resonance. I was attentive to the sound of resonance and I was listening to the sound of train. When there was a small vibration I noticed, so sound of resonance also changed. And the sound of resonance changed means there is a problem ahead. So this subject knowledge what I am having, what I had studied in my school and college days, that I am only applying. With that I could able to anticipate that the tracks are derailed. And I am Vishweswaraya, I am saluting to all of you and you are a great country and I am from India. That's what it is. So this is the greatness of Sar and Vishweswaraya. How it is possible? How he could able to anticipate? A 35 years old man, okay, gone to Britain and could able to do all such miracles. That is why his another name is what? Miracle Man of India. So many things he has done. And some of the points already they were explaining to you. How that he worked as a Diwan. He was the founder of the Mysore Bank. And he was the founder of the Mysore University. And there are so many credentials to his credit. And there are, you name out the state and you name out the country. I will tell you or you all might be knowing also what kind of contributions he has done for the globe. And some of his achievements are very, very remarkable. Now, India is celebrating the successful launch of the Chandrayaan. Now, Gaganayan. And two days before I read it, no, this is Samudrayan. Samudrayan, you would have read also. Okay, So, they were planning to leave a, again a vehicle inside the sea. From the surface of the sea, it has to go down 60,000 feet. And it will uh, do a no analysis and it will give a report. So, how all these things are possible today? Okay, you know that for all these things, for casting and for fabrications, we need the steel, we need the aluminium, we need the titanium, all these metal fabrications are required. Whose idea it is to put a factory in India for steel, for iron, for casting, for manufacturing? Sir M. B. C. S. Pariah. That is why he was also known as the Vishwakarma of India. We know, right, who is Vishwakarma? Okay, he was the Vishwakarma of India. Very simple person. And at the age of, like now, if we, somebody attains to that age, people will say that senior citizen, and now there is a code, and there is a word, then no, super senior citizen. If somebody attains more than 80 and above. At the age of 92, when he went for an official visit to inspect one factory, then people started teasing him by saying that, yes, you can inspect the container, which is almost no 400 steps you have to claim. And you know that those days, or now also, if you go to any industries, the ladders which are all kept, it will not at all be com uh, no, comfortable. There will not be any support system and it will be made with pure iron, so it is very, very risky. So he did not thought for a single second. In one go, 400 steps, he completed. He completed his inspection and he came back. At what age? At the age of 92. So that is the legacy. That is the hard work. That is the determination. Many days we have heard. Okay, so whenever... Whatever the work, many people are there. Okay, they were very sincere to the work, but I will able I will able to realize and recognize the sincerity and the hard work and the dedication what Sir M. Vishweswaraya has put forth for the growth of the country and for the growth of the nations. He understood about the importance of irrigation system, block irrigation system. He understood the safe drinking water facility. He understood the automatic switch control gates. He understood the total. Today now we are celebrating. Like now also, today it is very popular. Brundavan Garden. Whose idea it is? Tirupati Thirmala Ghat Road. Every day, 
Thousands of people are traveling from all South India or from across the globe, I will say. Whose idea it is? In our own Hyderabad, Musi River, what kind of problem? Every year Hyderabad was affected with the flood because of the Musi River and the water was overflowing. Himayat Sagar and Usman Sagar, whose idea it is? This is for I. You name out the, you come to Odisha, there is a Hirakud Dam, same, same problem it was. That was also the idea and the implementation of Saram Visheshwaya. Such a humble man, such a hard working and determined man and hard working person, always dedicated to his profession what he had chosen for. And that is why the government of India decided to celebrate his birthday as 15th September 1861. He was born. So 15th September to celebrate as a engineer's day and he was regarded as father of engineers for the Vishwakarma of India and the highest civilian awards of India that is Bharat Ratna that has been conferred to this officer and it is really a great salute that India is blessed with such kind of talents and such kind of people. See if we will realize and recognize and remember our history India got independence. Along with India, there are many other countries also got the independence. You see the growth rate, you see the success of those countries and now you see the growth of India. Because of, there are some great people which are all left their remarkable contribution for the growth of the country. One is what? Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam sir, Homi Bhava. Third one is what? Sarem Vishweshwaraya. So this is the level of country and we are privileged and proud that we are belongs to the same profession where Saru was there. We are all our engineers and we are also celebrating this day as an engineer's day and also we are equally contributing for the benefit of the society. And this great man lived for 101 years. Don't you think it is really great? So much of work pressure, no time to take rest. No botheration about any luxury, food, anything and lived for 100 years. So he lived for the people and he did so much of remarkable you know, things. Till today it is a history and today we are doing an impact analysis. How it is possible for someone to do all such you know, great work for the development of the country. So let us have a big round of applause for the great engineer where the India was blessed for. So what is the message for us by celebrating the engineer's day? So the message is whatever the profession we have chosen for, okay, we have to be sincere, we have to be dedicated and we have to discharge our duty with utmost professionalism so that you know, it will be respect to the profession what we have chosen for. That is the message he has left for all of us and there is no end to the responsibility. That is why I was quoting you an example. At the age of 92, now people who are all attaining 50, 60 and all, they say that no, already we are 60, already we are 65, already we are 68. You imagine a person who is working till his last breath and he lived for the year 101 years. So it's not that great. So and we are all blessed that we are, uh, no, belongs to the same country and we are all belongs to the same profession where he had created the legacy. And it is not like that only in the civil engineering those things can be done. There are so many examples and there are so many opportunities where the engineers can create a history. So basically, if what I understand, engineers day are celebrated for two main reasons. One is what? Undoubtedly, uh, Sir M. Visheshwaraya's birthday. And another one is what? What are all contributions the engineers are doing for the society? So that is the thing. So that is why it is you know, our all responsibility to take it forward and do lot and lot uh, for the country or basically the profession what we have chosen for. So finally, before I sign out, I thought this is a you know, great platform and I wanted to uh, make uh, some of the you know, good news announcements and all to you all. See, as you know that St. Martin is celebrating 100% placement, okay, 
and uh, recently in uh, just couple of months before we celebrated 100% placement you all have witnessed and each and every student was called on stage and offer letter were distributed and this we were doing it for a couple of years and students were happy and now uh, admissions procedures are all completed so we have attained 100% admissions which is very rare at this year see when it came to my mind to celebrate a day as a placement day i never thought of that no somebody will call us and give some recognition or we are doing for something else okay so we are very keen that we have to take care of our own children so in that context we decided okay somehow pull the company train the students provide them the platform bring the companies put them into training complete it it is an iterative process we did it and finally all of our students have succeeded and that gives us a lot of happiness and we are not knowing that somebody is really watching us for all the activities what we are doing and i wanted to share you the good news world education summit it is a very big organization you can see that one okay so they have recognized our work and for past 20 days they were asking me so many details and all finally we have been selected as a best engineering college in india for providing the best placement and to felicitate us we have received an invitation that we have to go to singapore and malaysia and to receive the award so on this october 3rd thank you sir we are going there and in person we will be receiving the award on behalf of st martin engineering college so really it is a very proud moment for all of us because we put our work sincerely and somebody was recognizing similarly i can quote one more example as you know st martin is bestowed with governor award four times and you know the social activities where st martin is involved because of that okay so we were doing it as an activity as an a club activity and also we wanted to incline the students towards the humanity so that they should understand the problem a people's problem instead of no spending time on all these electronic gadgets so that was the only intention we were having but we were not knowing okay that is that somebody from outside is also watching us for our activity all of sudden from governor office i got a call email and a invitations that your works are going to be recognized by the honorable governor of telangana so please come so we have been invited we have been felicitated we have been invited for the lunch with the governor and this was happening for past 4 years past 4 years we are carrying the tag so why i am telling to you this okay so only ultimate option is what okay so we were not concerned about somebody has to recognize us somebody has to give the awards somebody has to felicitate us we are very professional and we dedicated and devoted our time to do our work we have not done something extra which is not required we have done our work and because of that all this appreciations all this recognition nationally internationally it is all coming in the crowning glory of st martin engineering college so i thought as it is an engineering day engineers day so i should share this good news because it is all our uh, no togetherly we all put our effort and we have bought this laurel for the institution that is why st martin is celebrating the 100% placement and uh, st martin also soon will celebrate so many activities and achievements for the betterment of faculty and students another thing is which is in pipeline down the line i will be talking to you so we are collaborating with some more international universities down the line you will see those people are coming up and there are three things i am talking to them one is what the student exchange program their student will be coming for a month 20 or 30 or 40 okay similarly we will be sending our students also for a month to have an exchange learning and international exposure parallelly students they will not come by their own right okay four to five faculty also will be coming yes or no okay 
so they will be sending the faculty and my condition is i will also sending my faculty so you all will be there in the campus they will take care of you okay so 15 days 20 days 30 days whatever it is and the so one is what your student exchange is done faculty exchange is done and the third thing we are talking about the collaborative research now we are filing the patent we are publishing the books we are publishing the papers okay so at our level we are doing okay i wanted to bring an international collaboration so one will be you another one will be some foreign universities of some Canada or some USA or some England, like that. So it is an international collaboration. Same thing will happen. When they publish the paper also, they take your help and parallelly you will be a co-author for their paper too. So this is all the downline plan. It is all going on. So let us hope for the best and join our hands together to bring so much of new things for the glory of St. Martin Engineering College. So once again, thank you very much for listening to me. And uh, again, Happy Engineers Day to all of you and have a great evening ahead. Thank you very much.